Hey everybody, so it looks like NVIDIA released a new driver. It was actually released on the 5th. And I have been away from my system for a while and so I haven't had a chance to catch up and really test it out and so forth. But I did a few test flights and I gotta say I am seeing an improved difference. Now you notice that my quality here, my panel and everything is pretty clear. I can read the checklist here pretty clear. Everything is looking good. now. If you've watched any of my recent videos, I'd say like the last two or three videos that I've put up on my channel, I had actually gone back a couple of versions on my driver, believe it or not. Um, I had gone back to 526.47 um, and the one that had been released previous to that was 527.56. So I was having some stuttering issues and actually went back a couple of video levels, a couple of graphic levels. And so I was anxious to test out this new one. And now what I'm seeing already is definite improvements in the smoothness of the performance. Now I know in the recording it won't look quite as smooth to you as it will, does to me in my headset right now. Uh, but it'll be, it should be pretty close, but I can tell you that I am seeing a difference. Um, at the end of this video, I do show my current settings for the in-game settings. If you want to know the rest of my settings, all my videos have a link in them to a blog page with screenshots of my settings. So I have a video up as well, somewhere on the channel, but there is also a link my screenshots of my settings and again at the end of this video you'll see what my current in-game settings are for this flight uh, and yeah like I said it, it seems to be performing really well uh, graphic wise um, I'm liking what I see my reflections are looking really nice in the cockpit window uh, my propeller movement looks really sweet the movement in the area in the ground seems to be pretty smooth. Now I notice that with my system most of the time when I get stuttering it's when I look to the side and when I'm actually turning my head to the side. Not so much once I'm actually there but right now this really does seem to be really smooth and performing quite well. At least compared to the last version of the driver update. I'm going to test it more. I'll test it with some other planes as well. But right now it seems to be doing quite well for smoothness. A yeah, little stutter here and there. Not too bad. So I'm in a different area now. Uh, a little bit different landscape. We're on a... We're in the Pacific. Uh, before that we were down in South America. Uh, Gulf of Mexico area actually and now we're in the Pacific so much different terrain here a lot more green a lot more trees so I thought it would be a good spot to test it out same aircraft same aircraft my uh, F-6 And yeah, I mean, I, I see occasional stutters, but I don't know if they could ever get rid of those entirely with the... Uh, I wish somebody would put a pilot in that shadow and that silhouette. That, that just ruins it for me so much. I hate that, looking over and seeing <laughs> just the empty cockpit shadow. I mean, come on, put somebody in there. You can put the rest of it in there. Or put a silhouette in there of a pilot, please. Look at that. No pilot. It's awful. Anyways, uh, still seems to be performing smooth, even in this different region. And again, I will show some of my in-game settings at the end. I think my buildings are on high, my mean trees are on high. Um, Off-screen caching is on high. Uh, the terrain vector, I think, is on high. The level of detail sliders are probably both on 50. I think a lot of the other settings are on medium. I do still use the OpenXR toolkit. I, I find my system performs better with it. You know, I 
say you don't need it so much anymore. Well, my laptop still requires it. At least I like it. It performs better. So yeah, you can see occasional stutters here and there when you're crossing into different areas and you know, loading different sceneries. But I also didn't do a lot of tweaking yet for this new driver. But overall, I'm I'm happy with its performance right now. Get into the mountains here and, and maybe gain some altitude. Let's see how it goes, but yeah. Like I said, it, it, the recording I know is never as smooth. Um, I record directly in the Quest headset, and the settings are up on high for the recordings. And but then, you know, when I download it and edit it and then upload it to YouTube. It just never comes out quite as good as it is in the headset itself. I also did not turn my fans on high, I think, on my laptop. That definitely can give me some issues as my laptop gets warmer <laughs> after I fly for a while. Gonna make sure I turn that on. But like I said, I haven't done any real tweaking thoughts for this driver. I just installed it and I've only flown a few flights so far. Um, and when I do it, what I do after I install the driver, I don't really tweak the in game settings. I pick something like just the medium settings and then work from there. And like I said, right now, I think I got some on high. So let's see we got here so we got so i'm on auto now nvidia reflex low latency is on set to on i usually do that on plus boost but you can see uh yeah see a lot of things on high terrain vector and then a lot on medium uh yeah and then like i said most of my other settings are in the screenshots there's a link in every video that I put up. So any of my recent videos, you know, you know, I put this on, on plus boost. And I noticed that you have, to, for me to do this, I actually have to click it and I have to apply and save. I can't just go right through the menu. See, it didn't, I got to apply and save that again. Okay, now, I don't know why, weird little thing, but anyhow, let's see what that does. Yeah, usually I have that on, on plus boost. So, uh, well, let's do a little dive here. Anyways, latest driver. I will keep testing this so you don't have to, but at this point, I would recommend it as a download, especially if you've been having issues with the last driver update. Uh, again, I had, and I had actually gone back two versions, two minor versions, uh, uh, dot 48 I think all right hey thanks for watching we'll see you in the skies